Hi guys, so it's Sunday afternoon and it is about 22 2 and we're just waiting for our taxi to come at, um, well the taxi's picking my mum up at 2 o'clock at her house and by the time it gets here it'll probably be about 10 past 2 do you think? Yeah. Um, and then we're going on holiday, mm. which I'm not excited for yet. <laughs> Hopefully by the time I get to the airport I will be a bit excited. Neil's just over there downloading WhatsApp on my tablets and I think because all the excitement we had yesterday for the party and stuff I think like I'm on a bit of a come down from that so I'm not really excited for holidays yet but I will be later on I know I, I will be it is it's just waiting around because we've got up like normal time got ready and things um did last minute packing and still think there's something I forgot to pack but who you knows say that every year though yeah I know who knows as long as I've got underwear, that's all that matters. <laughs> um, so yeah, we are getting ready to go on holiday. I haven't really announced it on Facebook. I've only told a few people. Obviously just for like security reasons and things. Like announcing to Facebook that you're going on holiday and leaving your house unattended is obviously not the best thing to do. So um, yeah, I've told a few people, but um, I'm on holiday or going on holiday. We're going to Tunisia for one week um, with my parents and Neil's parents who are already there. They got to Tunisia about eight o'clock this morning and they said it was 30 degrees when they got there so that was nice and I'm wearing a kimono at the moment because when we get to Tunisia it'll be 8 p.m and by the time we get to the hotel it'll be like after 10 so I'm thinking it's going to be cooler obviously it'll not be freezing but this this is like nice and airy because it's got the big kimono type sleeves and I've got quite an airy top on if you can see I don't know if you can see and I've got black linen trousers on and I've got sandals on and I haven't pinned my toenails Ugh, awkward. Anyways, got my hand luggage ready to go. I've got our cases, Neil's case, my case, Neil's hand luggage, and we're all set. So yeah, we will catch up with you at the airport, maybe browsing duty free, who knows. I don't know how I'm going to put these videos together. I know what I did in Malta was um, combined like airport stuff and holiday stuff, but we will see. So we'll see you later. Bye.
And now we've got to wait in this queue. Great. You haven't been to this one yet? No. Nope. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's our flight there. Where? That's our flight. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Go forth and multiply, David. Which one? Oh. oh, we've had a lovely flight to Tunisia and even though there was lots of kids screaming on the aeroplane we are here and it's like 27 degrees, it's so hot I don't even know if you can see us but look, it's all fountainish and nice music playing so yeah, we're just going to find our coach transfer now and then go to our hotel This is our bathroom and this is what we've come into all this amazingness here and here and it's just all lovely and clean and fresh and new and then you've got the conjoining door to my mum and David's room but it's locked so you can't get in and you've got a big mirror here and then you've got my husband in here and complimentary bathrobes I'm sure this is the fridge yeah it is Yay. you've got a big mirror there which I don't particularly want to be in bottle of wine bottle of wine yeah mm. and our view which you can't really see at the moment because it's so dark but there's the pool it looks really nice out there. And there's the beach. Oh my God, how close are we to the beach? Well, that's not the beach. That's, yeah, it is just down that path where the end of the lights are. That's wow. Should we open the door and yeah. see what's like, what's like outside? So there's a swim up room there, which... Do you see it? Okay. Yeah, it doesn't really bother me that. No. There's people walking through there. There's the beach. Yeah, it's a private beach as well, so... So where's the sea? Down oh. the path and you, and you get the beach. Oh right, so this isn't the beach bit here. No, that's just sand. Oh, there's the water. Do you see the reflection? Oh yeah, oh my god, we're so close. It, yeah? yeah, I can see it. And our pool looks like a giant penis. It's got like two round balls and a penis. I don't know, it just looks like a penis. But well, yeah. Penis Look at that. This is our nighttime view. Obviously I'm gonna show you more in the morning. But um do yeah. See, do you see the moon? In yeah. the camera. Yeah, so um, I'm going to take you back inside and say goodnight for today. First kind of time in Tunisia, no, first day in Tunisia. Neil's mum and stepdad welcomed us with cocktails and beer and then I had a few more cocktails and a few Diet Cokes and I'm still really thirsty. So, oh, and one of the um, staff members give all of us ladies a rose and it smells amazing. Got complimentary wine. Do you want water or coke? Complimentary water. I will have. It's hot coke. Oh no, I'll have a water. There's okay. only water or coke in there at the moment. Hopefully that'll get refilled with something else. But yeah, that is it for today. We will see you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, everybody. So it is our first kind of official day in Tunisia today. And this is our room. And this is my mum and David's room, so we'll just wait for them to get ready and then we'll go and have a breakfast and we'll have the pool and the sunbathing. We've got no makeup on, hair scraped up and um feel a bit bare because I've got my arms on short, but you're on holiday and nobody knows you so it doesn't matter. Niels went down the corridor because his mum's staying just down there, down the corridor. So um yeah, I'm just standing talking to myself. Great, nothing changes. <laughs>
here guys you come here so ladies and gentlemen the winner of the come forward please don't pray don't push you in the water the winner of the best cocktail maker for summer 2014 let's give strong applause for our winners so ladies and gentlemen you won you won from our water sports station for Ten. I caught a ten. Oh my god, you're a genius. <laughs> what was it? Flip it over. <laughs> well, we've come to the end of Monday night and um, I am extremely, extremely, extremely burnt and sore. And I don't know how because I was front facing the sun all day apart from and that. And I had factor 30 on all day and I kept topping it up all day apart from when I was in the pool obviously but I think that's when I must have caught the most of my sunburn but literally I've got massive X on my back so I'll insert a picture if I remember and I look like I'm supporting the X factor woohoo um so yeah everyone else is still down having drinks it's my mum's birthday tomorrow so it's kind of like last night it'd been 49 um but there's nothing I really want to drink and I don't feel great because of the heat and it's like half past ten or something so I thought we'd just come back to the room so I can take all of this kind of painful clothing off and just veg out in my pyjamas and um, there's a singer coming on downstairs but they're not really that very good I hear it. yeah you can't hear it a little bit and the only thing that disappoint me, disappoints me about this hotel is the entertainment and um, the entertainment's not amazing um, and it's just started raining which is really not good I hope it's not raining in the morning but Anyways, I forgot to tell you, I picked up um, a little Pandora gift um, for my mum in the airport. Um, originally, I was going to buy her some perfume, but she didn't want any when we were there. So when she went back to sit with her husband and Neil, I went back to Pandora and got her a little charm to go on a bracelet for tomorrow because tomorrow's her 50th. And um, obviously, I've given her all a gift, but I want to give her something whilst we're on holiday as well. So I got her that. So yes, you will see that tomorrow probably because she got a Pandora for her 50th off her work colleague. So yeah, it's all quite fitting. I've got a bit of a makeup station going on here, but I really didn't wear any makeup apart from my stay matte pressed powder and some concealer and a little bit of blusher because literally everything is just melting off me. Are you okay? Yeah, just a little bit of red, red and hot. And hot. Yeah, I think we'll open the balcony door for a little bit. And um... I've never actually noticed that canopy above the bed there. Really not? No. Well, it was like 12 o'clock when we were in bed last night. It was really late, After yeah. a long day. Anyways, I need to get changed because I'm a bit crisp, but we will catch up with you in another day's vlog. Bye.